Ooh, wow. I was not expecting that, guys. This is kind of like insanity right now. It's actually gonna really shoot it up in points. Well, that, 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 that's gonna take game right here. It has to. All right, guys. That is my friend. Five points. Five sm smackers. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to another epic unboxing question mark but of course this is the worst of series if you guys haven't seen the best of series for 2023 definitely check out that video right there I almost put it in the wrong direction but yes this video is going to be a unique video where we talk about the worst of Yu-Gi-Oh! in terms of 2023 now I haven't found anything about the worst of in terms of Pokemon side of the house for 2023, but my vote, my personal vote, if I was to vote anything, would be the Paradox Rift. Maybe, but just, only because it just came off of a, of a hype series known as the 151s. But that's my personal opinion. In the comments down below, let me know what you guys think of the worst set that came out for Pokemon in 2023, as well as Yu-Gi-Oh! Do you believe these two fall into that category of the worst? I guess we'll find out in today's video. If you guys haven't already, press the like for luck because one of these boxes is going to be deemed the worst and it needs the most luck it possibly can. So before I will start, let me go ahead and unbox or start opening up some of these. Um, as I'm opening the Valiant Smashers, so let's look at some of the high value cards here. Now, most of them are probably going to be the collector's rare. So obviously we have the Citron Ion Premiria. Uh, that's sitting around $90.91 as of today's recording session. And then we have the Centron Ion Trudua, Tr 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 Trudia Collector's Rare at $89 for number two. And the number three spot is Stand Up Century, Century, I don't know, uh, Ion Collector's Rare at $84.44. Now all these, of course, is going to be the Collector's Rare variant. So assuming you get the Collector's Rare var variant, you're probably going to have the win for this unboxing and deemed not the worst, but second to worst, I guess. At least in the eyes of us at none other entertainment. But yes, now when it comes to the legendary duelist, Soul Burning Volcano, uh, there's uh, obviously quite a, a, lot, a lot of things here that we can possibly not be worth much money. <laughs> <laughs> but the two highest of the value, of course, is that Ghost Rare, that uh, Solomon Great Sunlight uh, Wolf, uh, sitting around uh, $79.08 as of today's recording session. And the second highest is a Ultra Rare of the Solomon Great Raging Phoenix at $34.66. So not quite sitting high with the Alleged Duels. Uh, place your votes right now, but of what you think is going to be the worst of the worst set of 2023. For those that have watched in my previous verses, um, obviously the point system is such. There's, if you break $1, that's one point. If it breaks $5, that's two points. If it breaks $10, that is three points. If it breaks $20, that is four points. And of course, if it breaks $50, that is five points and of course six points if it breaks $100, but none of them actually break $100. Uh, so we're, we're, we're pretty good there. We're pretty good there. All right, guys, without further ado, let us start. Valiant Smashers versus Soul Burning Volcano. Let's do this. We're gonna start with the the more recent one. This is, uh, this is actually the very last set to come out in 2023, Valiant Smashers, after an amazing run that is, of course, the... Um, it's called Rarity Collection. Now, I'm not gonna be opening all of them, uh, but we're only gonna open up 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, exactly. We're just opening up 12. And then, of course, the other cards will be if it's like a, like a tiebreaker or something that we need. And then maybe I'll open the rest versus like maybe during a, uh, I don't know, uh, a one pack pull or I don't know, another revisited series, something like that. One, two, three, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, so this has seven cards, this has five cards. So we're just gonna go with 12 to 12, um, similar to what we did in the other series. We couldn't do more uh, because it has less cards in this pack. It's only five cards versus the seven cards in the Valiant Smashers, but um, we'll, keep it, we'll keep it as such. All right, since this one has the less cards, we will start with the Legendary Duelist. Soul Burning Volcano. That'd be amazing if we do pull a uh, 
a ghost rare though. That'll, that'll be, that'll be clunch. Clunch, clinch. Yeah, clinch. All right, here we go. I'm not sure what the card trick is to this, uh, but we're just gonna go with it. We have the Will of the Silma Great. The uh, Volcanic Shell. Oh, it looks like it's probably too different, probably. Uh, volcanic uh, Rocket. Ooh, maybe not. Um, might be maybe one to the front, but that this is an, a rare card right there. And we have an ultra rare card of the Volcanic Trooper that actually might be worth potentially some money for an ultra rare variant. And then we have the Volcanic Hammer. I do love the the fire type, so like I'm, I'm kind of rooting for this one to win, but it had a lot of controversy if you guys remember because it was the, the Yu Gi Oh was releasing way too many packs at that time, and people were just getting kind of like almost stale by the lackluster sets coming out and it shows in the value. So if you guys want to talk, see more about those details, maybe check out that video right over here where I talk about a little bit of my opinion of the, uh, the sets that came out around that time frame. But yes, we have the Volcanic Trooper. This is number 19. 19. All right. Ooh, great start for Volcanic Soul Burning Volcano. We have number 19. This is $7.65. That is two points. Wow. What a great start for, for them. All right. Two points already in the books for, e for even having less cards too. So, so maybe we don't need to do like a, uh, what's called a, uh, a handicap, if you will, of having one additional pack. Um, but we will deem that necessary. I don't know. In the end, we'll, 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 we'll put like a tally in there. All right, uh, seven cards. I believe it's two to the front. All right, we have the um, at Abominable Unchained Soul Rare. And I believe it's a, it's a collector's rare set, so I think most of it's gonna be rare or super rares or ultra rares, as well as the quarter century rares. Uh, this is a Teleforming. So the lowest rarity is rare, which doesn't make it very rare if it's not the most common. Uh, advanced Draw. That's why I really don't like the collector's rare sets because why make a collector's rare set when you know it's not going to be rare or you know whatever um memento land goblin we do have a super rare here is it the highest rarity possibly we'll put that to the back for now um ib cellular luti 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 so it might be four to the front i'm in that for next time um the uh summoner monk is next rare and then the super rare uh this is the uh, doula loom vol monica heathen hollow cool name cool name that's why probably not worth any points though but we'll see 33 the verdict is you are not <laughs> Well, I, I looked at the, the wrong one for a second, but it's like, no way. But it was the collector's rare. But yeah, 33, 18 cents, 18 cents. Yeah, I was, I was looking at the one prior to that, which is the number 20, 32 uh, collector's rare. And I was like $29, but yeah, definitely not this one. Going back to the soul burns, the soul burns inside of my soul. So far, soul burning volcano is taking the lead, but how long can it maintain it? All right, uh, I think it was two to the front. All right, we have the number C105 Bowling Boxer Comet Centris. Long name for no apparent reason. The Volcanic Doom Fire. Doom Fire. The Solomon Great Sanctuary. The Solomon Great uh, Mira Gastalio. And then a rare here, Belling Boxer Lead Yoke. That's probably not gonna be worth any points, but we'll, we'll verify, we'll verify. 57. 57 is seven cents. <laughs> All right, yeah, we kind of figured that was not gonna be worth any points, so yeah. All right, back to the Valiant. We'll make a Valiant comeback. Yeah. Now I'm actually very excited to see what sets are coming out. I'll probably talk about more about the upcoming sets in 2024. Uh, I mentioned this in uh, essentially my community posts on uh, uh, like some of the changes happening in uh, in our uh, in over here in none other entertainment. Um, but we're definitely going to be changing up. But uh, we're going to put more focus into Yu-Gi-Oh right now. 
Uh, right now, Liam is going to be ooh. right now. Liam is going to be taking a step back away from uh, Nun Entertainment to pursue his own uh, uh, own stuff. Right now, obviously, well, you know he might come in as a guest appearance here and there if uh, if he deems that necessary. But for the most part, we're just going to kind of trim that down and kind of focus more so on the UPO side of the house. Uh, there's a lot of background stuff happening. Um, new people coming in, new people leaving, or old people leaving, I should say. And uh, we're just going to kind of rebrand a lot of this stuff internally. Um, obviously, to you guys, probably won't be that much of a difference. But of course, to us, you know, we're, we're doing a lot of stuff internally to kind of like uh, supersede our, our mission or our goals for 2024. We have a lot of really good goals. A lot of it going to be evolving more so outside of our sphere. But for you guys, of course, that not much changes except for the fact that we might just be more Yu-Gi-Oh related stuff. Me personally, I still love Pokemon, so I might do some personal Pokemon stuff here and there if, if it's deemed necessary. For example, well, I'll, t I'll talk about more later, but there's some sets that's coming out on Pokemon side that I'm really, really fascinated with. But anyway, Honest. Uh, we saw this one already, I believe. The Foolish Barrier. The Dark Honest. There's actually a really good card here that I'm, I'm excited to show you. Hopefully, um, it's worth some points. Hall of the Fallen. And then we do get our first Ultra Rare. Looks very, very pretty. This is the uh, Center Ion Legatia. Legatia Ultra Rare only though. But I think that might be worth some points. Yeah, I don't know why my voice got all squeaky high for, the, for no apparent reason. So there is a quarter century variant and wow. Okay, okay. Uh, Okay, I was looking at, the, there's actually three different variants of this one, okay. So there's actually an Ultra Rare variant, a Collector's Rare variant, and a Quarter Century variant. But we pulled the Ultra Rare variant, which is still worth a decent amount. We're talking $10.17! That is three points already! Wow! These are some high points. High points right now for uh, the worst of series. That is pretty amazing. All right, wow, this is actually getting uh, a really heated competition. Much more than I expected. I thought it was gonna be no points here, no points there. We might get some no points coming up probably. But uh, yeah, for now, wow, what a great start for both packs. We have the Solomon Great Foul. That is a foul stench. Uh, burning Draw. The Belling Boxer Robin, uh, Robin. Uh, rabid <laughs> puncher. Sometimes I just can't talk, guys. I don't know why. Battling boxer glass jaw. And possibly another no pointer here is the Silima Great Charge. Rare only. Rare only. Number six is 14 cents. So that is zero points. Bonk, bonk, bonk. All right. Back to the Valiant. Will, will it continue to smash it or will it pass it? Now, I was saying before, if there's any sets that you feel are worse than this, let me know in the comments down below. But I'm very curious to see what you say, what you think about what the worst set of Yu-Gi-Oh! side anyway for 2023. Uh, protecting Spirit Logathus, I think. Is that how you pronounce it, guys? I have no idea. Waifu Potential, the Waifu Potential. We have the... Uh, for uh, perform met mage trick clown, the magic planter, the arch nemesis S Chatos, S Chatos. Maybe it's a Spanish set. I don't know. We have the uh, synch uh, synchro transmission. We do get a rare here, but I'll put that in the back or super rare. Mementolon Fracture Dance is the last rare. And then the super rare, the Center Ion Bonds. Super rare. All right. That is 20 cents only. So no points. No points. Back to the dueling of Legendary. Speaking of the Legendary duels, I do have Season 3 box that I have not yet opened. We're well, very, very excited to do a video on it in the future. Um, it's probably going to be more of a uh, February release, probably. 
but definitely very, very excited about this one. Um, we're going to be opening the entirety of this and see what good cards or bad cards we get from this Legendary Duelist Season 3. I wonder if they're even going to release a Season 4. I am trying to get my hands on the original Legendary Duelist that came out, first edition, preferably, of course, as a collector. Um, so once I get those in hand, I'll definitely be opening those. All right. We have the Volcanic Shatter Shot. The Blaze Ascender. Ooh, it's terrible, terrible centering though. I'm not sure if you can see that. Top to bottom centering is terrible. Um, yeah, like the, it's kind of thin at the very top and then like kind of fat, like the border lines is like really fat in the bottom. So very, very ter terrible centering. Left and right looks okay though, but top to bottom is terrible. And that's what I look for as a collector for those that are curious on um, what's a good card to keep or not. Uh, the Solomon Great uh, Transcendence. That's a decent centering there for left, right, top, bottom. Uh, Solomon Great uh, Jack Jaguar. Top to bottom also very bad centering. And uh, we have a rare here, Solomon Great Bale Yi Youngs. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but yeah. That is going to be a rare only. Probably no points as expected. Well, is 10 cents. 10 cents for this card. Oh, yeah. So we started out great and now we're falling, falling short, falling short. All right, let's see if Value Special can pick up the pace a little bit. All right, there can only be one. That's the name of the card, but there, will, there can only be one winner or loser, actually, in this case. The Imperial Customs. Very, very cool. Obviously, guys, if you, if you want to read the card, you can always pause it and whatnot. Angel of Sarah. Or Sarah. The Stained Glass of Light and Dark. The Mechlord uh, Emperor Granult. A Popis, the Swamp Deity. And a super rare of the. I know there's a, a, a collector's rare of this card, but this is only the super rare. Uh, Diamano Valmonica. Monica. Now, the collector's rare of this card is pretty high $29.29. That's kind of like what I was referring to before, but this one is only $21. Back to the Valiant. Oh, yeah. I think I did Valiant already. Oopsie. All right, we're doing Valiant again, apparently. I, I forgot where, what, what side I was doing. Um, the Mech Lord Emperor Wizen. Wizen. IP Cellular Lutia. The Arch Lord Krishia. Uh, Krishia. The uh, um, uh, Abominable Unchained Souls of my heart. Unchained Memories. The the Supply Squad. The Gravity Collapse. And the Valmonica Fault Rhythm, the super rare only track card. Probably not worth any points even still. This is uh, 19 cents. 19 cents. All right, we're gonna do two back-to-back -back vo volcanic soul-burning volcano <laughs> because I actually did two of the valiants. The Bowling Boxer Headgeared. The Solomon Great Gazelle. The Bowling Boxer Spirits. A rare here, which means, ooh, okay. Uh, we have a rare here, which means it's going to be another card after that. Uh, Solomon Great Revive, rare only. A uh, super rare only though, the Bowling Boxer Cross Counter. So super rare. All right, let's see if it's worth maybe a dollar. 38 is not going to be a dollar. It's only 15 cents. So no points again. The score so far right now, though, three points for Valiant Smash and two points for Soul Burning Volcano. So still a close race, still a close race, but we haven't pulled anything super exciting, but both ends in a hot minute. Now, hot because we are in the volcanic side. 
And yes, I am corny. All right, we're going to do two. All right, we have the Silver Great uh, Spinny. The Blaze, who, um, the Blaze Accelerator Reload. For some reason, uh, couldn't read that word. The Tri Blaze Accelerator. The Belly Boxer Switch Hitter. And then the rare Volcanic Rim Fire. Probably no points. Uh, 26 cents, so not too shabby, not too shabby, but not worth any points though. Back to Valiant, back to Valiant. It'd be kind of hilarious though if uh, th th there's like no more points for the rest of the game. <laughs> but also kind of sad as well, kind of sad as well. The Summoner Monk. The Momentum Lun Fracture Dance. Uh, Momentalon Cranium Burst. The uh, Colossal Fighter. The Dark Honest. The Arch Nemesis Enchantos. And the super rare of the Volmonica Entonair. Entonair, maybe. Maybe it's French. I don't know. Uh, 19 cents for this one, so definitely no points. Definitely no points. Back to the soul burning volcanic rack re reaction. All right, we have the Silma Great Circle. The Silma Great Heat Leo. Gotta heat that Leo. Uh, volcanic Eruption. Ooh, and we got a rare here in the fourth slot, which means we might have something cool in the fifth slot. Um, the Volcanic Rocket. Ooh, and we do get a Ultra Rare here. Nice. Terrible centering though. Oh my god. Top, bottom, left, and right. It's all terrible. But it's still going to be worth some points though. This is the Silver Great Burst Griffin. Like Gryffindor. Alright, I'm, I'm not sure if you, could, you guys can see that real quick, but the centering. Top to bottom. Well, let's look at left, left to right first. Left to right it is a lot longer on this side, shorter on this side, and then the top to bottom. It was long on the bottom and short on the top. <laughs> Terrible setting. This is probably gonna get automatic PSA 8. And I'll talk about PSA stuff later as well. I didn't forget about PSA stuff. This is number four. Wow, really? Interesting. So ultra rare, but it doesn't even get points. Doesn't even get points. This is only 36 cents. That is terrible. Really? Yeah. I was thinking that's gonna be points for them, but no, it th does not tie it up. It does not tie it up at all. We are still three to two here. Interesting for an ultra rare. All right, back to Valiant. I was thinking at least a dollar, something, right? <laughs> Maybe it does deserve to be the worst set of 2024 or 2023. Uh, Ultra not w being worth points, that's terrible. All right, here we go. Uh, Mementalon Horn Dragon. I think there's a new card. I haven't seen that one, like, ever. Imperium Customs. We saw that already quite a bit. The Terraforming. The Honest. The Draco Malfoy, I'm, I'm just kidding. Draco Berserker of the T. Oops. Looks cool though. The Foolish Barrier. And a super rare of the Central Ion or Sentry Ion uh, Palix. I think that's how you pronounce it. Probably, probably not. I don't know. 23. This is a uh, 16 cents, 16 cents. So that is a zero points. I mean, I'm in awe that the ultra rare was not point, any points though, but maybe we'll get some points now, but whoa, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm losing a little bit of faith in the soul burning volcanic Iraq reaction. So we'll see though. Uh, the jolt counter. Number 105 battling boxer star centris. The Volcanic Shell. The Battling Boxer Glass Jaw. 
and then uh, rare only of the Battling Boxer Chief Second. Chief Second. That's definitely 90 points. Number 33. 33. 12 cents. Yep. Figured. 12 cents. How many do we have left? Well, we have. Well, five left. Five left. All right, we have the Call of the Haunted. Ooh. Ooh, I'll save that for later. Wow, I was not expecting that, guys. We have the uh, Magic Planter. The Angel of Sarah. A Porus the Swamp Deity. Momentalum Goblin. The number 41 Bogosha, the Terrible Tired Taproot, like something like that. And guys, this is kind of like insanity right now. So this is actually gonna really shoot it up in points. But guys, we pulled a 25th anniversary quarter century secret rare. The Arch Lord Krishia. Wow. Wow. That actually, that, 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 that's gonna take game right here. It, it has to, it has to. There's no way, it's, unless I pull a ghost rare, but wow, this is uh, very, very much shocking. And this is actually, I mean, decently centering. So uh, this actually might be worth grading as well. This is number 48, quarter century rare. <laughs> wow. This actually might be the first ever, uh, well, may maybe, I don't know. All right, guys, enough. Never stalling, I guess. But this card, this quarter century card, is number 48. An amazing, amazing card. $67.13. That is, my friend, five points. Five sm smackaroos. <laughs> five smackaroos. Wow. That puts the lead massively in the lead now. This is gonna be eight Valiant Smashers to Soul Burning Volcanoes 2. Wow, that is amazing. It's the fifth highest card in terms of price. I was not expecting that at all. I'm definitely gonna be sleeving that immediately. Honestly, that, 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 that feels like game to me. Is, that, is it even worth opening these four? I don't know. I'm just gonna do a quick like speed run right now of these four because uh, it might not be even worth <laughs> continuing. Okay, that one's only gonna be a rare of the, the lead yoke. So definitely no points for sure. All right, this is only a super rare. And this one is only like, what is it called? 22 cents. So still no points. Last two packs for them. And this one's only a rare. This is only nine cents, nine cents. Last pack. Okay, we can get another point. And it's quite possible that the other side of the... Uh, uh, might actually hold some cards. So yeah, this one's only 26 cents. So, the fact that we pulled that card, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add in the the handicap to kind of finish off the uh, these three, six cards that are on the uh, right side. And then I'll save the left side for a future rematch maybe i don't know but let's finish let's see if we get anything with these last six packs and the reason why i'm doing a handicap is because it, there is only five cards but still but still poor century rare uh this one's 45 cents so not even worth a point there we pulled this once already it wasn't ready. any points rim fire only 20 cents i think we saw that one earlier as well we saw this one before, Chief Second. Uh, that wasn't worth any points before, if I recall. 14 cents for this one. Still nothing, God. <laughs> Last pack. Last pack on the uh, right side here for Ledger Duelist. To even get at least one more point, or else it's gonna be a, a massive, massive loss for this set. And the final card is a super rare. Not even worth, <laughs> not even worth it, guys. So 18 cents, 
So yeah, that is a landslide victory for Valiant Smashers. So the second to worst set. So the Deep Storm works worst set of 2023. And I kind of knew it from the, the, the start, but it was uh, the Legend list. So Burn Volcano. And it kind of makes sense because of the controversial videos that we talked about, the prices that we see of the cards. Uh, almost a year later. Now, granted, Valiant Smashers is the more recent set, but it kind of evened out a little bit a month later or a month and a half later. So, um, so the prices are pretty much how it should be, roughly, in terms of the market. I can always appreciate more as time goes on, but for the most part, Value Smashers is deemed not the worst set of 2023, but instead the Soul Burning Volcano. Worst set 2023. Do you guys agree? You guys agree? Do you guys want a rematch? I don't know. Um, or maybe have a Legend of Duelist battle against something else. I don't know. But wow, what an amazing, amazing verse. I love doing these verses. So it's the, one of the big changes that, that I want to talk about real quick for 2024 is um, I'm going to be doing a lot more verses. At least once a month, if I can. Um, obviously, the, 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 it deems on like how much uh, money we have in a business to like you know get more additional packs uh, but for the most part um, you know I want to do more verses because I love doing verses and it gives me a chance to really open up a variety of packs not just the one pack that comes out every month or so but I do have four packs left of Valiant Smashers which I'll definitely save for a future one pack pull opening and maybe we'll pull another ultra rare I don't know but uh, definitely look for my shorts that come out every so often. At least once a week I'll, or once or twice a week we'll have a, a, a YouTube short happening. And I, I definitely want to do more one pack pulls as we get towards the, you know, uh, more of the 2024 unpackings. But let's talk briefly about the upcoming sets uh, that I'm really excited for. So on, on January 12th, which is actually in a couple of days from the release of this video, um, if not already released, is going to be the Pokemon, uh, what is it called? It's almost like a, like a, another Fates series, but it's the Paldean Fates um, ETV that comes out, as well as the Tin that comes out on the 12th. I actually might gra grab my hands on those because I do love, like, I, I believe, I, I don't know if they're going to the full shinies or anything like that, but they, they might do like terrestrialized cards, potentially, I don't know. Now they have released some cards from Japan, obviously, and um, they have, they obviously have some Charizards in here. They got some v uh, Venusaurs, definitely some more EX cards. But these are the shiny cards, okay. I was thinking it's gonna be more like, like terrestrial lives, but no, it's just, it's just some more shinies. Cause I, I saw like a shiny Charmander here. It's pretty cool looking, but I don't know. To me, honestly, it, it would have made more sense if it was like, uh, I don't know, like uh, terrestrial lives Pokemon because it's Paldea related, but shinies are always very, very exciting. There's a shiny Mew that looks very cool, like full art. Some alternative arts of like the, the Wiglets, I think it's called. Ooh, some of these trainer cards are badass, like the, uh, like Clive and uh, what's, what's her face, uh, Nimona. They have alter alternative arts for um, the trainer cards too. Oh, that is cool. I like these a lot. And some ancient cards it looks like. Some like, it look, look, looks like almost ancient cards, but those look pretty cool as well. As well as some golden cards. Actually, they, they, they're all golden. This is actually a pretty hype set, not gonna lie. And then we have the promo cards. That's a that's a beautiful Charizard, the terrestrialized version. Wow, that's a, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually very excited about this. So I, I'll definitely be grabbing some uh, some of these for the Pokemon side, even though I don't really collect a lot of Pokemon cards, but I do love certain sets from Pokemon, and that is definitely going to be a hype set for Pokemon. And then the next upcoming for a Yu-Gi-Oh side is the Maze of Millennia. That's another going to be a Maze card, and I have a Versus series in plan for that one, like Maze of Millennia versus obviously the the Maze of Memories. And then the one after that for Yu-Gi-Oh! is the Phantom Nightmare. It comes out in early February. There's actually a couple other packs coming out for both Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon that might be interesting, but I don't want to drag the video out too long. Thank you guys so much for the view and checking us out here in None Entertainment. Definitely appreciate everything you have supported us. Uh, and we have some big plans for 2024 and very, very much epic unboxings. I'm very, very excited to show you. Like one of them, of course, is going to be something related to Kaiba. So definitely, I don't know when it's coming in. It hasn't come in yet as of this you know, recording session, but I'm very, very excited for that to come out to showcase to you guys, as well as any future unboxings, pack openings, and one pack pulls, and anything in between. All right, while I was uploading, I forgot to mention this, but yes, uh, about the PSA stuff, 
it's definitely on the way. It's definitely on the way. I'm not sure exactly when, but it's definitely on the way. Probably more around the summertime frame to try to collect all the cars that I want to grade, and that'll be a future PSA video. Instead of having one released in the beginning of the year, I'm gonna have one in the middle of the year, but it's still coming. I didn't forget about it, except, you know, recording it. But yeah, guys, thank you again so much for the view. Love you guys, and we'll definitely see you there. My name is Talos, and peace.